Hello. Good day, everyone. Our topic for today is all about naming ionic and covalent compounds. But first, let's talk about compounds. A compound is a substance composed of two or more elements combined in a specific ratio and held together by chemical bonds. We have some familiar examples of compounds. We have water and salt. Water, or also known as H2O, and salt, also known as sodium chloride or NaCl. Ionic compounds and bonding. The resulting electrically neutral compounds, such as sodium chloride, is represented with a chemical formula of NaCl. The chemical formula, or simply formula, of an ionic compound denotes the constituent elements and the ratio in which they combine. We have here the monoatomic ion. From the word itself, mono means one. Monoatomic is named by changing the ending of the element's name to IDE. We have some example, chloride. We have also oxide, chloride from the element chlorine, and oxide from the element oxygen. Take note, some metals can form cations of more than one possible charge, such as ferrous iron or also known as F2. F2 because of the charge. The charge is 2 plus. Next is the ferric iron or also known as F3. Fe3. Okay, so 3 because of the charge. 3 plus. And we have also another example element that possesses more than one possible charge. We have manganese. Manganese has 1, 2, 3. Okay. Three possible charges. We have the MN2+, plus, MN3+, plus, and MN4+. Plus. Take note, MN2+, plus, also known as manganese 2 ion, because of the charge, 2 plus. We have also manganese 3 ion. 3 because of the charge 3 plus manganese 4 ion from the charge itself 4 we have some elements okay in this table this table shows the names and formulas of some common monoatomic ions we have for the cations we have the aluminum, barium, cadmium, calcium, cesium, chromium, cobalt, copper, copper 2, hydrogen, iron 2, iron 3, lead 2, lithium, magnesium, manganese, mercury, potassium, silver, sodium, strontium, tin 2, zinc. And for the anions, we have bromide, chloride, fluoride, hydride, iodide, nitride, oxide, and sulfide. Take note, cations and anions are derivatives from ions. Cations, um, these are the ions which has a positive charge. So as you can see in the table, all the elements having positive charges. 
while the anions these are ions which have negative charge so as you can see in the table all the symbol represented by a negative charge now let's proceed to the formulas for ionic compounds ionic compounds are generally empirical formulas take note we have two types of formulas we have molecular and empirical formulas so for this we have ionic compounds which are electric electronically neutral okay so from the word itself neutral okay they have zero charge okay so take note here the diagram shows the number of electrons in which each element contains okay so for the sodium atom represented by na you can see that it has 11 electrons okay these 11 electrons are taken from the atomic number okay don't forget to go back to the formula and getting the number of protons the number of protons is equal to the number of atomic uh, or also known as the atomic number okay so here as you can see for the chlorine okay chlorine consists of 17 protons from its atomic number okay so as you can see we have here for sodium 11 electrons for chlorine 17 electrons okay so you can see the number of electrons okay by having the electron electronic configuration you can see there the distribution of electrons per shell or per orbital so here we have 11 electrons so it loses an electron to donate here in the chlorine atom so as you can see here the seven 17 electrons become 18 electro electron now from the okay from the sodium atom okay and they combine together and then form forming a sodium chloride crystal or also known as NaCl take note in ionic compounds there is an electron transfer okay there is a transferring of electron so that the bond will become stable so here now let's tackle all about the formulas of ionic compounds how you are going to combine one element from another element to become a compound okay in order for ionic compounds to become electric electronically neutral the sum of the charges and the cations and anions in each formula must be equal to zero okay don't forget we have here um, an example the aluminum oxide from the two elements aluminum and oxygen take note that e aluminum or also known as el3 plus okay has a charge of three plus okay and here we have oxygen it has a charge of two negative don't forget okay the mechanism behind it the crease cross okay and then take note the three plus will be shared to oxygen and the two negative will be shared to to aluminum okay and now it become al2o3 okay so here we have the sum of the charges now the two okay multiply with the three plus plus the three okay multiply with the two negative and do the operation then you will have zero because two times three you have six three times negative two you have negative six 
So 6 plus negative 6, you have 0. And now, you can say that aluminum oxide is an electronic